hello guys welcome back to another rental studio tutorial so this is the same example that we used in the previous episode so in the previous episode we already learned about how to add fragments at a runtime so here we have three fragments this is the home fragment so if the user click button on the home fragment it will open first fragment and if the user click button on first fragment it will open second fragment so here we have three fragments but here there is a problem if the user click the bike button the application simply close i will show you it again run the application again so this is the home fragment now i move it to first fragment so now here i am going to click the bike button now the application is simply closed this is because here we didn't put any fragment transaction to the bike stack. So if you put the fragment transaction to the bike stack, the Android system will stop the fragment instead of destroying it. So if you didn't put the fragment transaction into bike stack, the Android system will destroy the fragments if you replace or remove it. So now here I'm going to show you how to enable backward navigation through fragments using the bike stack mechanism so here the initial fragment is home fragment so we add the home fragment from main activity so from the home fragment we start the first fragment so here we replace the home fragment with the first fragment so here i am going to add this transaction to the bike stack so before commit the transaction here i am going to add the transaction into backstack here is the method add it to backstack so here you need to specify a string that identify the transaction you can simply pass null for it so here uh, we add the transaction to the backstack so here from here you can uh, user can navigate back to the home fragment so now from the first fragment uh, user start the second fragment here also i'm going to add the transaction into backstack so from here from second fragment user can navigate back to the first fragment so now we can test it So now here the application available on this virtual device now i open first fragment so now i can move it to the home fragment by simply click the bike button now hi, i am in first fragment now i am in second fragment now i can move back to first fragment by simply click the bike button now i can move back to home fragment so this is how we add fragment transaction to the backstack method for getting backward navigation through fragments. I hope you understand this concept. For getting more Android tutorial updates, please subscribe this channel now. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.